So as you all know that back at home, I have a pretty big aquarium. Right now that aquarium has four peacock bass, two bichets, and one oscar. Now one of my goals as a fish keeper was to always keep some local freshwater fish that I personally caught myself. So today is the day that I try to get some of these local fish. So the fish that I'm after today is called a blue acara. It's called a blue acara internationally. But locally, it's more commonly known as a coscarab. Coscarab cichlid. It's a type of cichlid that lives in freshwater areas here in Trinidad and Tobago. So right now, I'm waiting on one of my friends, Mr. Sachin Maraj from the Facebook group TAPS. TAPS, Trinidad Aquatic Pet Society. And apparently he knows this, this secret spot where there are a lot of Akaras. So me and him are gonna head to that spot and we're gonna try our luck and see if we could nail some Akaras today or some Cuscarabs. All right, so stay tuned to the video. If you're seeing this video, then I guess that means we actually caught something. Otherwise I will not publish this on YouTube. So, stay tuned and we'll see how things go. I'm here with uh, my friend Sachim. I got him. He's way over there. And we've seen a spot here. I don't know if you will be able to see, but I'm seeing there are some Akaras in here. starting to get a little bit dark which is good because that's when the fish come out but it might be a little bit bad for you because you all can't see them but they are there so we're gonna wait till it gets a little bit darker and then we'll come back all right so we here we caught our first akara and it's a really really nice one really beautiful so for those of you all who are not from trinidad this is what we call a coscarab it's better known as the blue akara. So this is our first one for the night. Hopefully we'll get a lot more. So stay tuned. Sachin is here. All right. All right. All right, so we have akara number two here. This one is a little bit bigger than the other one. Looks like a meal. So we're gonna put him in the little cooler here and we are gonna continue along. All right, this is akara number three. All right, so this is the haul here so far. Uh, I think we have about 14 of the blue Akaras which are like these in the corner here we have one brown Akara which is um, actually a little less common than the a little less common than the blue ones if you take a take a little look at him here and, and these actually get a little bit bigger than the blue ones so we have one brown Akara we have a sardine somewhere I've seen him here Right, so one sardine, two spot carrican. What's that? Um, I believe they're also known as two spot carrican. All right, they're also known as the two spot carrican. And we have in this bag two red crabs. Now, I'm not going to be keeping the crabs, those are for Sachin. He has a friend who does research on crabs, so he's going to donate these crabs to that person. I'm pretty sure they're not going to die, so don't leave any hate comments for me and so this is the haul so far I'm probably not gonna keep every single one of these fish because it's good to practice catch and release try and preserve the population but the better ones I will keep for myself so we going strong and stay tuned to the rest of the video to see what we have going on all right so it's the next day 
and um, we ended up throwing back a couple of the Akaras as well as the sardine and well Sachin took the crabs so in total we have 11 of them in this bag I put two of the bigger ones you can see the really nice colors on that one there and some of the smaller ones that I got I put in this bag so when I get home a little later I'll put them in the aquarium and we'll take another look at them been in the aquarium for a couple of hours and they are eating pretty well as you can see I have some tetra color bits in there and also some blood wounds and already I'm getting a dominant fish in here which is this guy right here he's been showing some dominance he's one of the bigger fishes and they have been displaying some pretty good behavior so I would say that's um that's some encouraging signs some very very encouraging signs
So I'm gonna bring this video to an end now. But before I go, I just wanna say that I never knew that these fishes existed in such high numbers in Trinidad. As you all can see, these fish are really, really beautiful. Around this time last year, I was looking for green terrors to add to my aquarium. One of the things I really liked about the green terrors, besides their brilliant colors, is that um, little orange trim that they have on their fins. Not knowing that right here in Trinidad, there are fish very similar to green terrors with the same orange trim that I can just go out and catch for free. Alright, so these, seeing that these fish are wild caught fish, it's, they're going to stay in quarantine for quite some time before I even think about adding them to any of my other aquariums. So until then, I want to thank you all for watching and if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you and we will see you all in the next video. Peace.